congratulations, Roger. Uh, first win uh, after the 100 titles. How did it feel out there today? Yeah, I felt really good. I was uh, very happy with my first round, of, uh, first set. Sorry, um, I thought I came out and really just felt great. Second set, you know, tougher. I think he started to play much better, serve better, and that was tough, you know. But uh, found a way, and the uh, conditions were nice. So uh, and the crowds were great. So I'm very happy I got through the first round. You've now got 63 wins at Indian Wells, the most of any Masters. I know you're home in the Swiss Alps, but in some way, do you feel home in the desert as well? Yeah, I mean, I've come here long, long, yeah, since a long time. I think last time I lost in the first round was back in 2001, I read before this game, so that gave me a bit of a boost. Um, and yeah, I mean, I've only played at this site. I know uh, the Indian Wells tournament used to be held at, the, at two other places, at the Hyatt and then also at, the, at La Quinta. So I've, I've only known this place, but I've seen it grow and really go from strength to strength. And uh, no, I definitely feel good here. I mean, conditions suit me well, I believe, even though you hear from a lot of players that it is tough to play here because of the desert air and the ball flying a lot and the spin taking off but uh, I must say for the most part I actually played really well here. Pete Sampras came out to see you today did you notice him during the match? Well I saw him yesterday at the game against uh, when Djokovic was playing and he had uh, texted me to say like he's coming this weekend and um, you know we're looking to maybe catch up together and then actually today I totally forgot that he was here or maybe was going to be here and then I only got uh, told that he was actually sitting front row because I guess I was too focused on just playing, playing, playing. And then I saw him at the very end from afar. So I hope I get to see him later.